Yoshi, do not pee like cop flake. Bad boy. Noah's campfire back with production. and hungry I spend every Sunday just living good might do a little fishing a little hunting on the weekend with a bow I'll be sneaking back in the woods a little bit crazy every now and then maybe like to kick off my boots and get lazy but I'm living good yeah Just a redneck Robin Hood Hey, I'm living good Back in the woods Hello everybody, it's been a long time It's been about a month, I think A month, a month or two since I made a video uh, I got some news I'm going back to the woods to live I gotta do this for myself Cause right now I'm mentally unstable. I need to get my medication. <sighs> I won't be alone. I got Yoshi. Cause if I stay here with not getting on a proper medication, I've been taking medication, but it's not. It's not the proper. It's not helping me. If I stay with the doctors I'm going, it's going to take another year to get the same medication. Cause they won't prescribe me my medication I asked for. That I know it worked with the other doctors. And I figure I should. I shouldn't be no longer in the woods from at least till winter if everything goes to plan. If everything goes to plan, I'd be out off the, out of the woods by winter in my own um, place. That's my goal to have my own place. Uh, I was thinking about having a roommate to help out with the bills, and I was going to try to get a, a part-time job. Eventually, work it to full-time job because I'm ready to be stable again. I'm getting. I'm getting to a point, the woods is starting to wear a tear on my body. And being here at my friend's house was kind of like a break. Because going out camping, just doing things, and uh, for two or three nights to a week, that ain't nothing. You have to live out 24-7 in all uh, types of weather conditions and stuff. It's going to wear a tear on your body. Keep moving, camp every day. Because out there, you can't stay in one spot. Not unless you're deep in the wilderness, but you're in urban, you have to keep moving to different locations because you got the asshole cities. Not all of them assholes, but the ones that they they have a right to tear, you, tear your camp down and destroy all your property. They think they have a right to run you off without a lawful reason. You have to worry about them people. Seems like this society don't give a shit about people living outdoors anymore because they think they're a scumbag and don't deserve to live. There's still good people out there. If there wasn't good people out there, there won't be homeless shelters out there getting donations from people. But majority of society think homeless people are scumbag because the news, the freaking uh, movies and stuff, they, and what the internet says, they don't go to see, to see the true side of people. And living out there, before you judge somebody, that's how I see it. Go can't with them for a while. Be in their shoes or anybody before you judge somebody. Go in their shoes first. Mm, right now I'm just drinking a cup of coffee. I, I'm going to start making more videos and stuff. I've been wanting to take a break. I've been depressed, delusional because my med I'm not on proper medication. I, this is the first day I've actually been normal without the medication. Sometimes I get, get in reality. Sometimes I'm in, in a fantasy world. Sometimes I'm a totally different person. A lot of people say I got a split personality. I think I do myself. Because sometimes I stop for a minute, forget I was even stopping, and don't remember shit. I 
think I do might got a split personality. I'm not a doctor. I can't decide that. <sighs> Hopefully, I don't have to be out there no more till winter. If not, if I have to go through winter, I just build a permanent shelter with a fireplace in it because there's a law you can't keep animals out in the cold for long periods of time. A tent is not acceptable for an, an, a domesticated animal to live in during the winter time, technically, to be honest. Well, I want to solve that problem. If I have to be there in winter, I build a shelter that with a fireplace, and it won't take long to build a shelter. Well, once I have a shelter that's heated up, I'm fine. I just hope it don't go down in that way. Let me see what else. Oh, new glasses. You guys don't know. I used to wear glasses in 2014. I don't know. If I, I had probably the first time I appeared on camera with glasses. And on YouTube, at least. Let's see. I want to get my stuff together. I, I got a couple days to do this. I'm not in a big hurry. I'm leaving on the 1st. If I continue not being on my medication, I'm going, I know uh, I, my mental illness is going to continue to hurt other people. And my friends I care about, I hardly got friends. I only got four friends. I, I got Larry, Sel. Selby, his wife, a Jason, he's like a brother, Brian. I probably serve Will as my friend, but I don't know if he like. I don't think he likes me. Cause, cause probably cause my mental illness caused problems with him in the past. That's probably why he don't like me. If that's the case, I understand. Hmm. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat something like I'm gonna get a canned food. Just pop the can and open up. <laughs> it's a chunky can, chunky can, uh, soup. One of them big cans of soups. How many? Five minutes. I guess I cut off in a minute. Let's see. I gotta do laundry and wash all my my sleeping bag, my blanket. I gotta gather. I got some dog food over for Yoshi. I need to order some stuff off the internet. I gotta get a ferro rod. I got magnesium stress still. But I want a ferro rod because it'll last a long time to get a good ferro rod. I found one for like forty dollars. It should last it says the last I think five thousand strikes. I have to be wrong. I gotta get a water filter and I found a case for my water filter. For show your water filter, they got a, a case out there to protect you. It's shock resistant, where protect your water filter. My main problem out there with the water filter: if I drop my pack, or I bump into a tree real hard, or leave it in my pocket, sit down, it cracks on me, and it's useless. And I have to go buy another one. I won't order a case for it, where it make it last longer. And I want a something like a the brown bag filter to my research. What I gather from research, you use a brown bag water filter to pre-filter your water, get the heavy particulates out, and filter out some of the dirt, and, and expand your lifespan of your water filter. I want to try that out, because I want to make, make my water filter last a long time, at least the summer. Because in winter, even if you have to be out in the winter time, your water filter will freeze, not unless you're keeping all your body at all times to your body temperatures. That's kind of hard. To do because you might forget you, you filtered out water, you set it down, and you realize an hour later and it's too late and it froze. <laughs> I had that happen to me before. <laughs> uh, at least it'll last you a, a long time. The water filter, I think it's 5,000 gallons of water, and if uh, you can flush it out, clean it, it got a shrink. And let's see, so every year I like to change. At the end of the summer, I like to change my water filter anyway for safety reasons. I don't trust it. It says 5,000 gallons. Alright, I'm going to get off here. I'm signing off. i see you on the internet. You like my video? Please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to get updates on my videos.